I need to get my life in order and a great place to start is by organizing my craft supplies. I have several areas where I have craft supplies and things that I need to get organized and I'll be making a video on each section. Today I'm going to be organizing a room where I store a bunch of random craft materials. This table in the center of the room has a lot of clutter on it. Some of that I can put away. Then there's the filing cabinets. They're a mess on top. They are an even worse mess inside, not organized at all. There's this closet that's very disheveled and filled with random crafting supplies. And then I think under the bed, there might be a couple items under there. I'm not really sure how much is under there. And the last area is the stack of drawers. That's just a total disaster. Some of the drawers don't even close because they're so jammed with things. So I decided to start with what I thought would be the easiest area, and that is the closet with the already contained somewhat craft supplies because I figured I can pull all these out, go through the individual boxes, see what's in there, and my hope was those things were mostly already organized. While going through the closet, I discovered this paint by numbers that I started probably like 15 years ago. So this is going to go on to my projects to complete list and hopefully the little paint bottles haven't dried out. After getting everything out of the closet, I enlisted my sister's help and we organized what we could. And most of it was pretty straightforward, just a matter of setting in piles of already organized, needs to go somewhere else, and I don't know what the third category was, but there was some third category. And also I'll kind of explain my organizing and cleaning process just in case you haven't figured it out, but I am very much one of those people who when I clean and I organize, I pull everything out, go through everything, and then put it back. I don't like pick one little section. So basically as I go through this video, everything gets pulled out and then everything goes back, but just a lot more organized this time. And of course, some things I do throw away or give away in different things, but I'm just going through all these little boxes. Okay, it's a little hard to tell what I'm saying, but basically I said that it's teeth. And yes, I found some teeth in that random container. I think this is the most dramatic discovery I made while organizing this section of my crap things. So that was a fun and weird little find. So most of the stuff here is contained, so it's gonna hang out in the hallway. We just need to separate out like this. The dice need to get separated out. Next up, I moved on to the chest of drawers, and this was a total disaster. There was so much clutter in there, and basically, again, I started by emptying everything out of a drawer and kind of assessing what I had and then reorganizing. These drawers are so gross. So what I'm doing here that you really can't see because I didn't realize it was off camera mostly is I'm testing my paints that they actually work. I had so many dried out bottles of paint that you know weren't good for anything. So after testing them, I tossed the ones that didn't work and then put the ones that did work into the drawer. Also, I apparently put the paint into the drawer the wrong way because my sister was like, no, 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 it needs to be in the front, but actually it worked out really great the way she organized it. testing them and if nothing comes out it goes into the trash no <laughs> it's like so nasty looking i'm just throwing this away yeah that's, that's like too gross family. to save <laughs> i also tested out all the little bottles of puffy paint and some of these were so nasty but then once we found the ones that still had usable paint we loaded those back into the drawer again i i was told i did this part wrong all right stop saying you're not putting them in it wrong guy. Well, you're putting up the way you're not gonna you line up see yeah. anything. I'm just like squishable. But but I gotta be honest, you know, she did a good job organizing it. And then it was at this point that it was just like so satisfying. I was like, I need to get some pictures for Instagram, but I'm not very good at taking pictures. So then we had this like mini photo shoot. My sister got these cool shots. It was like, whoa, look at all the organized paint bottles. But that was the first drawer. We got that done. And then on to the next drawer of just all kinds of randomness. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see it just like tilt it. See that glitter? It's everywhere. I found this in a parking lot. It's like for pottery stuff. 
and there'd been like a million cars there that day, so I figured no one was gonna come back for it. And it'd been like run over, so I brought it home. I've never used it. Oh, this is for my iPhone 5. I have so much trash that I've saved. See, like, this looks kind of nice. This was from an old purse. It was, like, the pull, you know, on the zipper piece. It's, like, kind of nice. I don't know. I, I don't need out. this logo. Like, why did I save this logo? You're throwing this away, right? <laughs> yes, we're gonna let go of it. Well, we'll go with it. Let's put, let's put items that are contained, like this kind of stuff. Okay. And Why don't you give me all your twins. jewelry stuff? No, that's going downstairs. This is going elsewhere. This okay. has other homes. Another thing of note is my younger sister also stores some craft supplies in this room. And so I kept coming a bunch of her stuff mixed in with other things. So there were a couple parts where I just took all of her things and just stuck them into one drawer. So at least her things were separated and contained, even if I didn't actually organize her things. Back at like the start of five minute crafts and their rise to fame, my sister made a bunch of these little hot glue containers. They're actually really cute though. Okay, so we end up with all of these items that there's other places that I know of where I can store these. You might remember the containers from the closet. As I found items in the drawers that went with those things, I put them in those containers out in the hallway. We're going to send this little stack downstairs, and that's going to help when I organize that room. So there's a lot going on with these filing cabinets over here, but let me give you some high points. This drawer I'm not touching because this is a drawer with my sister's stuff and she can organize that if she wants to. This, I'm not really doing much of anything with it. It's random fabric, things I've tie-dyed, bags, placemats. Fabric is the general category. That section's good. Then we get to drawers like this that I literally have labeled trash because it's basically trash that I have saved. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna have to let go of some of this stuff. But really my goal is to empty completely one of these drawers so I can put all my art supplies like notepads and pens and pencils and things like that into one filing cabinet drawer. Oh, this drawer. This drawer is kind of sad. I have some like random craft stuff that's been passed down. A bunch of foam. Then I have my Bob Ross kit that I haven't opened. I really need to do that. I just haven't felt well enough to spend several hours painting because it's not supposed to take several hours, but knowing myself, it will take several hours. And then I have a bunch of lentils down here that were bought for stuffing something, but then they expired and I'm hanging on to them if I need to stuff anything. Oh good, this drawer shut. There we go. This drawer again is more just kind of random. Random junk basically. This drawer has like tie-dye materials and polymer clay. A couple of jars. I'm probably gonna leave this drawer as is. Probably these two drawers will get condensed into one and that'll free up my empty drawer for art supplies. So now it's time to tackle the trash drawer, which I've already condensed a little bit. Again, I'm gonna pull everything out, go through and figure out what is like, actually needs to be thrown out because it's literally trash and I'll condense this and neaten it. So let's get going. We're gonna need the trash can for this drawer. I feel like I owe this drawer an explanation because the way I'm talking about here makes it sound like it's just trash that I saved for no reason. Pretty much everything in here, at one point or another, I had a project in mind I wanted to use it for, but then either I never got to the project or when I worked on the project, I decided to go a different direction. So this isn't stuff that I saved necessarily just because it was random stuff I wanted to save, but a lot of it is stuff that was saved for a reason it will never get used for. And then there's some things like empty water bottles. I have no idea why these are in here, those I tossed. Oh, this is all just straight up junk. Elastigirl. I don't actually need the last girl portion. We're gonna hang on to this container. I have a bunch of containers here. I'm gonna find all the empty ones and just set them off to the side because I can use that for organizing other things. And I actually have a bunch of stuff in the drawers that we did that can probably be sorted out with these. I saved this from some soap because I thought the paper was pretty. What am I going to use it for? 
I have no idea. Am I actually going to use it for something? I don't know either. Look at this baby Nutella jar. Isn't it the cutest? These are so cute too, but they're not good for storage because the top of the neck is like too narrow. I'm gonna let go of these. These are containers that made the cut. I'm gonna hang on to these and probably will end up using these at various places. A container with string. It's kind of like a shoelace. I never cease to amaze myself. These are left over from when I made like a banner with my channel name. I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't know why I kept them. And here is the collection of items that go elsewhere that we ended up with from the trash drawer. Pure talent. Now these items would take up less space if I took them out, but they're just so nicely contained. And this one has like the charcoals and it's just easier to leave them in their containers. This is so satisfying, especially compared to all the random just trash that was in there before. It looks so nice and organized. I might have another pencil box or two that I end up moving into here. And I'm kind of thinking about bringing this sketchbook to the very bottom because I could get a little more space kind of on top of it. There's a lot of like blank space underneath here. But as I find more things I need to go in this drawer, I'll adjust it then. This drawer was kind of boring, so I'm going to go through it pretty fast. But some highlights are I found my adorable llama stickers in there. And also I dusted off the top of the cabinets, which made them look so much nicer. And now to get the items from under the bed. Dun, dun, dun. This bin is all my sister stuff. It's going to stay exactly how it is. These crazy ornaments are going to stay here until I find a project for them. But the rest of the stuff, I'm going to distribute where it needs to go. So like this is going to go in a container that's already out there. This I'm going to put on a shelf. So I have a number of items that I brought up from downstairs when I was cleaning up downstairs. So we got to get these items put away. So that means the last thing to do is put these boxes in the hallway back in the shelf and make them nice and neat and organized this time. Here is this closet put all the way back together. And this wasn't a huge transformation, but at least everything is contained. I'm able to access all the containers. I also like how this one says party supplies. And while it's not technically party supplies, it's craft supplies. So it's basically the same thing. You know, if you pull out the craft supplies, it's basically a party in my book. But the big thing here is everything is sorted properly. I found so many loose pom-poms I was able to store and different things like that. I also got rid of one pencil box because I condensed all the crayons. But yeah, it's looking good. Here is the stack of drawers that remain. This is the most satisfying. All the paint sorted out. So nice. The top two are pretty much my sister's things. This is like miscellaneous. We've got some foam, a bow, more of these things. I could have put those in the big container over there, but you know, they're okay in their bag for now. Over here, I got rid of so much junk from in these filing cabinets. Things were a little more organized now. Look how neat, they even have extra space. My art supplies have a new home, very nice and tidy. So overall, I am very happy with the results of this room. The last thing to do in this room for it to be completely done is bring this stack of drawers downstairs and put this empty pencil box away. 
So I hope y'all enjoyed the way that I kind of exposed myself as an almost hoarder. But you know, I am proud of myself for getting rid of a bunch of these things that I absolutely did not need and for getting things more organized. I didn't get footage of this, but I filled about two trash bags full of just random things that I was able to declutter. So at least I'm making progress on getting things organized. Next time I will be organizing the room where I film and then I have several yarn things that I need to get organized. So be sure to stick around for those videos as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Happy crafting!